Right, I've had loads of people messaging me, asking me about how to make these little wood stove fans. Right, now, so what I'm going to do is just give you a brief description of how I made them. Anyway, this is really hot, so I'm going to put it down and talk through it. Right, start off at the bottom, which, so we'll go for the base. The base, this, this section here, is made from a solid state relay heat sink. You can buy these buy these from um, eBay. They're quite cheap. You pan round onto the uh, laptop, Scarlet. Put it up there. So there you go. Three pound fifty going from the UK. So pretty easy to get hold of. Right. What I've done, I've broken off all the fins because obviously the fins will cause it to cool down before it hits the Peltier module, and I've just bolted it onto a piece of three mil. Aluminium. Right, the next bit, working our way up, is a Peltier mo module. Now you could buy these from eBay, get them from Hong Kong or from the UK, they're quite cheap as well, about three pounds. And any 40 by 40 mil module uh, will do the job. The next component is a heat sink. This is a Dell uh, CPU heat sink. Uh, just a search on eBay. I think you can even get second hand ones. They're normally about £11 delivered, something like that. And there's quite a lot of them on there. Um, working the way up again. The motor. This is just a little solar project motor. You can get these on eBay as well. If you pan round, I've got it on the computer now just to show you. There you go. So they're easy to get hold of as well. Now, uh, if you pan round again, Scarlett. For the fan itself, I've just used uh, 0.5mm aluminium sheeting and just cut out the fan and the fan's attached to one of these little plastic pulleys. You can also get these off eBay, so I've also put this up on here so you can see it. There you go. Doesn't really matter what size you get as long as you get it for a 2mm shaft. Right, I'll just show you how to sand this fan copied the eco fan design really so the, the deepest section is nearest to the shaft so you don't need as much torque get it to spin there you go and it's pretty actually they're quite easy to make this if you, if you use this design the other fan here has got a bit of a more difficult base to uh, fabricate let's just fabricate it out of three more aluminium and always use a little bit of thermal paste between all the uh, hot and cold sections as you can see to get good heat transfer pretty much that's it and they work from about 100 degrees centigrade and I'll normally take them off if it goes over uh, 300 just to protect the modules but really do make a big difference to them that's it hopefully that's everything everyone wants to know so there we go